appreciate it. So did you hear the good news? The, uh, the justice department finally had the fucking balls to indict, uh, Steve Bannon in a, in a small victory for common sense and justice. Steve Bannon has been officially indicted. So some are speculating that he wants this. Um, yeah, but we got, dude, look at these tabs. We got a lot of fucking news, okay? I'm going to be going for hours, so stick around. I got good weed on the way. I'm all out of hash and weed. Smoking smoking my last bud. It's no good, man. So we're going to get completely fucking blitzed and watch news all day. How about that? It's the only way I can handle it, man. This shit is depressing. Country is going to hell in a handbasket. The entire fucking thing's falling apart. The entire democratic experiment is literally falling apart right in front of us. And everyone's just chilling. Why are you so angry, dude? That's what they tell me. Why are you so angry? Gosh, you're angry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no shit, you think? No, I got no reason to be angry, dog. I got no reason to be angry. Just chill out, bruh. Anyway. My haircut more often because I leave the studio for an hour to go get a haircut. And uh, Steve Bannon has been indicted on two counts of contempt of Congress for his refusal to abide by a legally issued subpoena compelling his testimony and document production in the investigation into the insurrection that took place on January 6th. People want to know what his role was in the failed coup attempt, the attempted overthrowing of the United States government and overturning of a free and fair American election. In Let me tell you something. Steve Bannon is straight up being quoted now as saying that, you know, he won't rest until America as we know it is, is radically changed. Uh, he's a millionaire man on a mission. Okay. And he's frightening. In an attempt to uh, reinsert Donald Trump as president, even though he lost the election by 7 million votes to Joe Biden. Uh, I'm going to read a little bit from this CNN article very briefly. Federal grand jury indicts former Trump advisor Steve Bannon for contempt of Congress. What this means, before I get into this, is one, Steve Bannon is facing uh, up to two years in prison. Uh, a minimum, if convicted, of 60 days and a maximum of two years and some piddly ass, worthless turd of a fine. That we won't even mention because it's, it's, it's like 200 bucks or something. He's a multimillionaire and it doesn't matter. It's like a couple hundred bucks. I designed the always bucks. pan to replace eight pieces of cookware. It's a couple it hundred bucks. Steve Bannon no longer is under the protection of Donald Trump. <laughs> Do they even Donald care? Trump no longer, just as Do Donald Trump doesn't care? have executive privilege, he doesn't enjoy that uh th that right that separation of power power of the presidency he also no longer has the p pardon power he can no longer run interference for steve bannon and his criminality so you know and he so this fella here uh what's his nuts what's his fucking dollarmore jesse dollarmore here he um is keeps pointing out that the ability for the president to do these executive orders is a check um, on is, is, is one of the checks and balances. And I never thought of it that way, you know, because it's a check. It's a check against um, a Congress that is, uh, you know, um, no longer in control, you know. Um, so. I've never heard that argument for that privilege because i always thought it was kind of ridiculous that oh what do you mean the president can just just do whatever the fuck he wants anyway <laughs> he could just sign a document and yep okay we're doing this now what do you mean he could just executive order like what doesn't does it that i thought a president wasn't a king 
But my problem with it is that there doesn't seem to be a limit. Just do whatever the hell you want. Do it all day. Wonder why Trump didn't. Like, what's the what's the reason why not? Why you know why didn't Trump just executive his or, order his way into a permanent presidency? You know, maybe there is a check on it. I don't know. I need to know more about it. But I've never heard anyone describe the you know executive orders as like a check and balance against Congress. But I don't know. When I think about it, it kind of makes a little sense. So there will be consequences. And number two, and we're going to get to it in the article, a little bit of a good eh. job. Eh. Merrick Garland, good job. Eh. It took longer than we'd liked, yeah. but it took place. Yeah. And hopefully I guess. this is a signal. It's a bare minimum expectations. You know what I mean? Like I'm really supposed to be like clapping. You know what I mean? For what? Because they did their fucking job. I do my job every goddamn day. whoop de fucking flat ass do Yeah, the motherfucking criminal got indicted. Congratulations. Fucking crazy town. That other investigations will be endeavored upon to hold Donald Trump and his cohort to account. Reading from this article, a federal grand jury has returned an indictment against former Trump advisor Steve Bannon for contempt of Congress the Justice Department announced Friday. Attorney General Merrick Garland has been under tremendous political pressure to indict Bannon since the House referred the Trump ally to the Justice Department for contempt on October 21st. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm making a joke. It's obviously not just me that has applied political pressure or pressure, public relations pressure. Uh, there's been many independent commentators on YouTube, I'm sure, who feel as I do, that there has been a uh, a lacking response from the Department of Justice to yeah. not only hold Donald Trump yeah. accountable, but, but also Steve Bannon Boy, in you, the matter you can say of the investigation again. of the duly appointed and impaneled House Select Committee investigating the insurrection. Continuing on with the article. Quote, this is from Merrick Garland. Uh, since my first day in office, I have promised Justice Department employees that together we would show the American people by word and deed that the department adheres to the rule of law, follows the facts and the law, and pursues equal justice under the law, Garland said in a statement Friday. Yeah. Today's we'll charges reflect the department's steadfast we'll commitment to these principles. Why, why do I get the feeling that Steve Bannon is going to fucking skate for some fucking reason that we'll never know? You know, why, why do I get the reason? Why, why, why do I get that feeling, guys? Bannon, 67, was charged with one count related to his refusal to appear for a deposition and another related to his refusal to produce documents. Each count carries a minimum of 30 days in jail and a maximum of one year in jail, the, the Justice Department said. So listen, I have been uh, very critical I believe justifiably so of Merrick Garland. I will continue to be when I believe criticism is warranted. But in this case, they did the right thing. So no criticism needed. Yeah, we'll see. What, when, when, when justice doesn't move as swiftly as it should, we all collectively as Americans who, who have an, an interest in this, we have standing in this case. We should hold them accountable, whether yeah, no they, they be Democrats or whether they be Republicans. No shit. And that is what I believe I have done and what my role will continue to be. Yeah, and ditto. And he goes on to he goes on to make a really good point here, actually, about um people like me and and you know, and people like him and, and like our role in this activist movement, you know. But in this case, good job. If I was wearing a hat, my hat would be off to you. Merrick Garland, Attorney General. Without an indictment, critics have said, there's doubt over how much power the House January 6th Committee has to compel cooperation from former White House and Trump administration officials. Friday, former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows failed to appear for a deposition. Sources familiar with the investigation told CNN, setting up 
a potential showdown that could lead to the panel beginning a criminal referral process against him. And I will say it again, what is taking them so long? When you are subpoenaed, it is not, uh, come at your leisure. It is, you are commanded to appear. We are compelling your testimony. Date, time, and place. And the, the moment that you're 10 minutes late, they need to, to forward it on. They need to vote in committee, forward it to the House for a full House vote, and then forward that on to the Justice Department where they can bring the evidence before a grand jury and indict. Now, and look at this. This is what I'm talking about. This is, is this even a 10-minute video? This is a 10-minute video. And we've already had two. It's six minutes into it. And we've already had two interruptions. But no, um, this is what I'm talking about. Like, you know, if you get caught stealing, you know, embezzling money from your company, you know, five or $10,000 or something, um, you're going to jail. The full force of the law is getting applied to you. It's going to happen swiftly. You're going to be moved right through it. Zip, zap, zoop. You're guilty. You're out of here. Um, I am, I am eternally sick and tired of obvious criminal activity um, being ignored by both sides because of their uh, fear of setting legal precedents that might get them snared up or their colleagues snared up, right? So you see this all the time. You're like, how come the motherfucking, what happened to Bush, right? Wasn't that guy a criminal? What the fuck happened with that guy? And Obama didn't do jack shit with Cheney, Bush, Rumsfeld. Fucking Wolfowitz, all of them. They all got. They all got to live comfortably for the rest of their lives, <clears throat> or still alive, not even behind jail, uh, behind bars in jail. Right? Like what the fuck? Well, the reason is is that they don't want to set a precedent. Um, you know where uh, they're wrapped up legally, like I was explaining before. So, um, it's very frustrating and. Uh, you know, look, the bar is so low. You know what I mean? Like, Steve Bannon isn't a politician. So I feel like he can get away with this. But he's so brazen about what he wants to do to democracy, what he wants to do to this country. Um, he is incredibly dangerous. Um, God help us all if he's ever put into another position of power. It's interesting how he, you know, was so hardcore he even scared Donald Trump. Donald Trump got him the fuck out of there. You fired, Steve. Uh, what happened? Oh. Likely uh, drawing up uh, an arrest warrant right now as, we, as I'm speaking for Steve Bannon to put him in cuffs and take him into custody. Bannon's lawyer... Robert Costello told the committee that former Trump advisor would not be cooperating with the investigation because he had been directed not to by Trump. Steve Bannon decided not to because Donald Trump told him not to. Donald Trump, a man with no power, no executive privilege. You don't get to disobey Congress, a legal subpoena, because Donald Trump said not to. Not yet, anyway. Pointing to claims from Trump that the documents and testimony being sought was potentially protected by executive privilege. It is not. We are learning that right now. Uh, videos that I posted today, in fact, talking about that matter. Bannon's lawyer told the committee that, quote, the executive privileges belong to this President Trump, unquote, gonna take this shit and to the we, Supreme quote, Court. must accept his direction and honor his invocation of executive privilege. Donald Trump does not possess executive privilege. It is a separation of power, power, and there is no need. Donald Trump doesn't have the ability to, to uh, separate any power from Congress because he doesn't have power. The American people made sure of that when they booted him out of office, when they elected Joe Biden in his place. So good Fool news foolishly. on a Friday. <laughs> I, my, my haircut, <laughs> notwithstanding. Okay, not okay. 
Thank you very much. I don't know where he makes that point that I brought up earlier about um, our role as commentators and how important that is to an informed democracy, but maybe a little bit later. But anyway.